Hey guys. to add in again that this is inspired by Jade the Libra. If you don't watch her, you definitely need to. She is amazing, the queen of Halloween decor hunting. This week, we are definitely gonna check out some stores we haven't checked out yet, like Party City. Still haven't been to Cracker Barrel, and I'm gonna go to Christmas tree shops at some point, which is very exciting. I've never been there. And of course, some repeats of the same stores we've gone to looking for new stuff. So I have a buddy today. Hi, buddy. Very cute. Besides our ghosty friend, which somebody suggested we should name Boo. I like it. It's simple. Boo, Boo Boo, Mr. Boo Boo. Just all of the things, you know, that like when you have a dog and you just call him anything. Same concept. Anyways, I have a Zeppelin with me because I'm taking him to his grooming appointment that he desperately needs. And I thought while we're in the area, we will check out some different stores and see what they have. I also went to Ross and TJ Maxx a couple of days ago, so I'll insert that footage and show you what I found here. Okay, that guy was cool, but it was like $55, so it was not about it. Of course, what we're seeing new at stores is a lot of different wood decor and ceramic pieces they had some little projection things that you can like shine on your doors your houses these wooden skulls the little wooden pumpkin this little double skull with the gold snake was kind of cool we really liked this radio but you can see it is actually missing a piece but it did still make noise so it was still functional they had this little ceramic boo with the pumpkins. And then we had some more like Day of the Dead Sugar Skull style stuff down here. And this stacked pumpkin was so cute. I don't know how much it was, but I really like this. This would be cute on your front porch. They had a couple of new signs like the Happy Halloween with the truck and the jack-o'-lanterns in the bed of the truck. This cool little witch sign was metal and some more of those heavy metal bat decor. Here we have a spooky gnome blanket. I like their blankets because they're cheap. They had some of these little, I guess you could use them as like trick or treat bags or just regular tote bags, like some kind of kid size ones and regular size ones with different prints. And those were only seven bucks for the big tote bags. They just really cool iridescent drink dispenser with like the skeleton hands on the side. I really like that. That was $20. And then this set of salt and pepper shakers was only three bucks and they're little skulls with handles. They also had like an iridescent oil slick one. They had the actual cups that came in a set. Here's some other salt and pepper shakers. I've seen some people find these designs also in like oil containers. They had some of these disposable trays with the decorative top. Those were $4. Some more ceramic pieces, of course, like the ghost and the cat there. And there's the sugar skull with the owl. We had some more different garlands or banners. So they had this little witch hat one for $12. And then the little spooky gnomes. And this one was spooky cats. That was pretty cute. And here's a wood sign and more of those trays we saw last week. Also found some candles here. They were pretty cute. Some simple designs. I'll show you more in a minute. They were eight bucks a piece. This little wooden moon sign. Eight dollars for that. Really good deal. This is kind of like a puffy fabric sign with the sugar skulls. More of the cool hanging metal bat decor. I regret not getting some of these. They're pretty nice and fairly cheap. More signs that we've seen before and this cute new one with like the ghosts and the pumpkins and the bats that say happy Halloween. And I think this one was only $10. We had a few more hand towels here. These always range in prices and you usually get two or four to a pack. This was a set of four for $9 and the set of two was $5, I think. More of these little silicone grippy things to pull like pans out of the oven. 
more hand towels, different prints, different sayings. They've got it all, y'all. Here are some of the candles. I only found three different ones. They were different scents, but they had really pretty tops to them as well. And another set of the Skull drinking glasses. And I found this Sugar Skull blanket in the regular section. All right, first off here, we found these really cool LED candles. So you don't have to actually burn them and they light up with this cool design. They had a few different designs of that. Another felty pumpkin, we've been seeing that boo sign, this like pearl and glitter stack skull, these metal ghosts that hold little like eek and boo signs. I found some Ray Dunn candles, as well as these really cute broomstick candles with the little witch's feet. So cute. The orange and black ones actually go upside down, so they're supposed to burn upside down, which is really fun. They also had these candles, which are very similar to ones that we're seeing at at home. So $7 for that pair. These little witch feet buckets, candy buckets, I assume. Here's a bigger version of the LED candles. We had these cute skull candles that came in a set. And they even had some Martha Stewart printed Halloween little treat bags. Here's another cute little candle. This one was kind of vintagey to me. I like it. Eight bucks for that. I also like this like metal paper bag look. It's like also vintagey to me. These, this one, it actually burns upside down, which is really fun. Here's a Ray Dunn candle. Those are eight dollars. I've seen a few of these scattered around. You kind of have to search the store sometimes. These I thought were so fun, the little skeleton candles, like isn't that so cute? I thought that was fairly unique and those were $7 for the pair. Some little like candy corn containers with the little characters on top. They have these different letters. I don't know if they're supposed to spell something or if they're supposed to have like every letter, but those were $4. This candle was cool with the skull. And then this black skull is actually a candle as well. That is a very long wick on top of it, which is very interesting. It had like a plasticky feel to it. So I was very confused by this one, but cool. Eight bucks for that. And then we have a very tall, spooky gnome friend up here. Little skeleton hanging wooden sign and some more Ray Dunn pillows. I think we've seen some of these. And what in the hell? I don't know. I think it's supposed to be a spider. This is just very sad. I just, I put him back there. And we have a plushy gnome here. <laughs> this was a really pretty Ouija board printed pillow. I actually really liked this one and I'm not really one for Ouija board printed stuff. And this was by Cynthia Rowley and it was $20. We also found this little candy corn plush throw. I think it was 16 or $17. There was also a few different prints of the LED candles. And then this is an actual real candle that you can burn with this beautiful haunted house on it. We found a little Frankenstein's monster. Well, not little. This is a pretty big size like candle holder. Some fancy little gnomes. We had a smaller pillow. This was like a little section up front. Found like some plain pillar candles. And those are the same stack skull candles, but in white and these really beautiful beaded coasters. Those were so pretty. And then here we have a bunch of spooky sprinkles, all different kinds and like some fall pumpkin-y baked good items or things that you can make into baked good items, but a bunch of different sprinkles here and cool containers as well, which is fun to just decorate, like pull the label off and put it on your bar cart or something. Super cute. These skull trays were awesome. Really liked those, but they were 20 bucks, which I didn't want to spend. This was in the drink section, like the drinking cups. Super cute Mickey and Friends Halloween cup for $6. They also had Winnie the Pooh Halloween. I don't know if these are supposed to be cups or candle holders. You could definitely use them as both. They were super cute. There was also this Ouija board one. And a few more hand towels, of course. We're always seeing different Halloween and fall hand towels. This one has a cute little skeleton doing yoga. October 31st. Again, usually a set of two or four of them. We have like these watercolored pumpkins or it's kind of watercolored looked. Look how pretty this little like watercolor witch is. She's very fancy and the little home sweet haunted home. Pretty cool, a little different, liked that one.
And they even had more of these little silicone grabby things to pull out pans out of the oven. We had this Let's Get Smashed cup, which was plastic. It had a lid and some little like utensil holders. This super cute Snoopy and Woodstock jack-o'-lantern cookie jar. Loved that. There's a Sugar Skull cat mug up there and a bunch more dog toys. I'm seeing a lot of different dog toys and even like some dog costumes at places like Marshalls and Home Goods in all different sizes. So they had a bunch here, including Lamb Chop. Got that little set last year. And we have another Ray Dunn candle and a couple other spooky themed candles just because like the stickers are spooky. I also have footage of a few things I found at Disney Springs. I live in Orlando, Florida, so pretty close to Disney World. Can't get into Magic Kingdom yet. I know for sure, because I've seen it all over Instagram, that Magic Kingdom does have actual Halloween merch out. And you can get that sometimes on Shop Disney's website, or you can find a magic shopper on Instagram and they'll get it for you and ship it to you. But at Disney Springs, they really didn't have anything Halloween specific out yet, except for a few extra or new Nightmare Before Christmas items. They have a little bit of Nightmare Before Christmas out year round, but this seems like a little bit extra. So I filmed it. I'm not sure if I'm going to insert the footage because I just feel like it's not as prevalent as like straight Halloween merch. We'll see. If I don't include it, let me know if you would want to see that. But now let's check out some new stores. So there's nothing here yet, but they had a ton of space cleared out here to fill with Halloween stuff. They had a little bit of fall, but no Halloween yet. What in the world? I don't know what these like little spooky and fall mice are. They were like $13 a piece. Is this like a collector's item? I, very strange. Uh, found some of these orange and black pumpkin jars. They had a seal. I didn't want to break it, but those were cute. Also more of the mice. What is this like dinner for schmucks? I don't, I don't understand. Um, these little crocheted pumpkin garlands were super cute though. And more of those LED candles were still there in a few different designs, little plushy kind of fabric pumpkins, of course, spooky gnomes and some fall, like more fall styled garlands than Halloween and the pretty velvet pumpkins, which I do like the those were $15 a piece. We had a Ray Dunn sign here just says spooky. These were super cool. These little eyeballs were like LED candles or lights. These would be so cute in a wreath. Loved those. I think those were $8. A little palmistry sign here. This little like wooden crow on a stick. More of the little candy guys, and we have these nice plushy pumpkins. I really liked the green and black one. That was $8. And another Ray Dunn pillow. This was in the actual pillow section. And in the actual blanket section, I found this skeleton blanket that has like some lace and stripe prints on it for $17. And the spooky shower curtains. They had a whole bunch of these. They're fabric shower curtains, standard size. They had a whole bunch of different prints. Like you can see that's like a witch cat. Um, we had like little animals. We had spooky villages and towns with bats and witches. And there was like the little spooky trucks. There was a whole bunch of different ones here, which these are so fun. But there were so many this year. I've been seeing so many shower curtains pop up everywhere so i'm just showing you the different ones that they had um i found this not really halloween but still kind of witchy and fun the stack of eye candles for ten dollars not candles mugs those are mugs we had some more pumpkin jars over here and they had these bamboo canisters that i've seen some other people post online which love it not plastic it's bamboo and they had some cute Halloween prints, but they feel like plastic if you're wondering. They were $8 for this size and they had that orange spooky print and then the spooky gnome print as well. Found this set of placemats with the beaded spider and the spider webs. This is fall, but look how beautiful this fully beaded like table runner. I love that. And then we have more spooky sprinkles again back over here to show you they added some new ones they also had some spooky printed baking cups for like cupcakes and such 
Those were $4. Super cute if you're having a party or something, but a bunch of different sprinkles. These were three or $4 a piece. Again, I loved the containers of some of these. They were so cool and pretty to display. Like this one would be so fun. I'd pull the label off and put it on my bar cart. I love it. It's like ghosts in a jar. How fun is that? They had this set of like four all together and they had it in a fall themed as well as a Halloween themed. So I had to grab the Halloween one. I am a sprinkle bitch. I love sprinkles. They're delicious. I used to eat them like candy. Honestly, I still would. Let's be real. They also had a bunch of different pumpkin and fall themed like flavored things for your drinks even some disney coffee there and a bunch of different like syrups and stuff so if you're looking for that they have it they also have a few different candies here that are fall like this skull container i guess some lollipops some candy corn found a couple of aprons here this one says trick or treat and the other one had black cats on it this is the weird little knickknack section at the front. They just kind of throw stuff. So there was some other fall and Halloween things here, like some different ceramics. They also had these little jack-o'-lanterns that had like scenty bags in them. So they smelled good, which was cool. Like that sparkly one was one of them. Interesting. Some more of those pretty beaded coasters. I found another Ray Dunn candle and another little witch sign and this little like pumpkin marshmallow thing up front. On the Marshall side, because this is a Marshalls and Home Goods Connected, they had these Nightmare Before Christmas pajamas in the women's pajama section. They also had these in the cosmetic section. They were little like printed bow headbands for washing your face, like to hold your hair back. They were $4. They also had the little devil horn ones. And these had little ghosties on them. And then this, I think, was supposed to be like cat ears. You can't really see it. This had a pumpkin on it, but I think it was just orange and black, the shower cap, but still cute. They had some kids' costumes as well as like kids' pajamas here. And some little baby booties. So precious. And this really nice, super cute jack-o'-lantern baby blanket. And this was only eight bucks. So super good deal. I found this little hidden section in the back of the Marshall's side and they had some more spooky stuff. So we had some more baking cups over here kind of hidden. It looks like nobody else has really found this section. They had this little gnome wooden block and that was, I think that's say $6. They had more of these bamboo containers for food, of course, $6. They had those two prints there with the dogs and the witch legs. And I can't believe I found these Ray Dunn mugs. These were like a metal mug with a lid. They had the Wicked Witch and the Toxic one. Ray Dunn sells out like crazy. It's not my thing, but I can't believe they had these here. So definitely search your whole store when you're looking for stuff. They also had the Ray Dunn Halloween candle set. There's a pretty beaded skull placemat shoved back there. There was a table runner there and the cool skull throw I know some people have been looking for. And last but not least, a jelly bean sampler set with Halloween characters. Okay, so just left Home Goods. There was actually a few new things that weren't there a couple of days ago. I also found a new little section that I didn't really realize was there because this is a Home Goods and Marshalls connected. So I found a little bit of like home stuff in the Marshalls side. Um, and that's where I found those like spooky containers. A few things I did see on the way out were like some spooky cotton candy containers, just like with a ghost or something on it. They also had that pack of jelly beans I tried to zoom in on, like a little sampler Halloween jelly bean pack. And oh, some like paper disposable party napkins that were Halloween themed as I was leaving as well. I was searching all over the clothes side for in the men's and women's section looking for this ghost face shirt. People have been finding a cute ghost face shirt. I forgot what it said. Um, I've seen it online for like eight bucks and I couldn't find any spooky shirts. Well, I guess I don't know if it'd be considered spooky. They had a shirt that was the Simpsons characters as skeletons sitting on the couch for $8 in the men's section. So I'm not sure if you would consider that spooky or not, or if they're considering that spooky. But I did find 
that. But other than that, there was no like actual spooky shirts. So that's sad because I need more spooky items in my closet. But I'm gonna run through the Starbucks drive-thru even though it makes me cringe because it's so overpriced. It's just, it's not a good value at all. We know this, right? But I'm dying of thirst. I need a snack and it's here and convenient. So that's what we're gonna do. No, this drive-thru is closed. Well, I guess we're going to Taco Bell then now, aren't we? The convenience was the drive-thru. Why is your drive-thru closed? Okay, in true Jade the Libra fashion, we're gonna get a Baja Blast, but a Baja Blast freeze, cause I don't understand getting a regular Baja Blast. No, I, I need the freeze part of it. But after I get a quick snack and a drink, I realized there's a Lowe's over here and we can go see if they have spooky stuff. I've seen some people finding some spooky stuff there, so I'm excited to go check. Go ahead. Could I get one Chicken Little, no pickles? All right. Uh, in order of nacho fries and a regular size Baja Blast freeze. Okay. That's all. No, I don't need sauce. Thank you. I just left Lowe's. No Halloween. None. Not a single thing. Disappointed. It's happening, y'all. The only Halloween stuff I found at Target was the Pillsbury printed sugar cookies and the Tazo pumpkin spice latte concentrate. Love those. All right, at Cracker Barrel, they did have some stuff displayed. Of course, not the ceramic ghost because that is like super hard to find right now, but they had a bunch of different sugar skull Day of the Dead style things. They had some different mugs and cups. This like tumbler was $14. They do have that little animated broom again this year. They've had that before. They had a couple of hand towels. This little animated light switch was pretty cool. I think that's super fun and pretty unique. We had some different hand towels. And what you may have seen before is they have some spooky books, which I thought was different. This I absolutely loved. I think it was $25 with the swirly orange and shimmer. Super pretty. This gargoyle was pretty cool. very haunted mansion we have a sugar skull pillow down here and a bunch of different sugar skull style stuff like salt and pepper shakers little dishes hand towels there were some mugs these little salt and pepper shakers were nine dollars i like to give price examples when i can they also had like some tumblers and water bottles and this was a little pen this tumbler was $16. They did have some little kid and baby kind of outfits here, including Harry Potter and like a little snuggly guy there. These were some Sugar Skull socks. They also had this like beaded Sugar Skull little coin purse. And then the thing behind it, I think it's just a keychain, but uh, just wait, it is not silent. Yeah, I don't know why, but it does that. We have some little lip balms and accessories over here. This little motion activated guy. Had some little Scooby-Doo sets here that you can build. They had a couple of spooky games, which is super fun. These cute little baby books. And that one was $7. We had this little sound machine. $7 for that as well. 
The little candy corn dispensers are lotion and soap that come together on a little tray. They have this welcome sign with the spider. I think it was like $20. That's That doesn't sound right, actually. Uh, we had a bunch of spooky cards here. They do have the little skeleton in the truck. We have a great pumpkin believer hat. That one was $15. They also had a few t-shirts, which was pretty cool. We have this Nightmare Before Christmas Oogie Boogie one, and they were $15 a piece. This one has a little bat hanging from the pocket. And then we have Snoopy and Woodstock, and it says Spooky and a great pumpkin shirt. Here is a little glitter globe skeleton and then the truck skeleton all lit up and shaken around. They also had this skull glitter globe I did not see on display. And we have a few jewelry items here like this spider bracelet and keychain, this pumpkin necklace that has matching earrings, these skull earrings, and I think most of these items were $10 each. Then also this very elaborate spider web necklace and this cat shirt. They also had some candy, Halloween candy. There are prices, for example, like this big gummy bag, some themed junior mints, which I had to get because I love junior mints. They also had the Halloween pumpkin Reese's. There are some gummy eyeballs back in those little trays and then Halloween themed M&Ms. They did also have candy corn and the mellow cream pumpkins. If you're looking for those already, they also had some gummy pumpkins and these caramel apple with peanuts and one of those fun hot cocoa bombs that you just drop into milk. This was pumpkin spice flavored. And some more candies here, cookies, fudge, different fall themed treats here, even candy corn flavored red vines. All right, it's Saturday now. We are headed to a few new stores to check out what they have. We are about to go to the Christmas tree shops, which I'm so excited about. Yes, it's a Christmas store, but they do other holidays and I've seen other people finding some cool Halloween stuff there for good prices. So let's check what they have. Okay, so first thing when I walked in, they kind of had this like little dollar section and they had these little sun catchers that you can paint for a dollar each and a bunch of different designs and shapes. They also had like your classic spider web decorations and so much stuff. I was so happily surprised. They had so much stuff for such good prices. Like these little signs were $4.99 or $5, we'll round. Most of their signs were only five bucks and they were cute and they weren't like, you know, incredibly cheaply made where you're just like, it's not even worth it. These I think were worth it and they had a bunch of different styles. I really liked these and I'm excited to see what they add. So I think all of these signs you're seeing were five dollars except for maybe one or two. See, look at that five bucks and this one was like metal super cute definitely decor you could keep up year-round for sure but i'm trying to show each piece in these clips so there's quite a bit to show so bear with me as i go through everything to show you what i can find i think this one was a little bit more yeah this one was seven dollars but still seven bucks for like a happy halloween sign you could hang on your door they had some like vintage looking kind of decor they had like fortune teller palm reader decor they had some like pastel goth decor see that sign was only four dollars like you can't beat it and they had a bunch of different prints you kind of have to search a little bit you can see there's a few different ones here i forgot about that psychic reading one honestly might go back and get that that's really pretty something wicked this way comes and these like little pillows, these remind me of something from like the 90s, but they had a couple of these that were four bucks a piece. They also had these little black pumpkins down here that had like bones making out an initial. Those were $3 a piece. Unfortunately, I couldn't find an M, but I thought they were super cute. They even had the ampersand and symbol. We had some spooky nutcrackers. They had a bunch of pirate decor as well. These little 
cauldrons were glass little decorations and they were three dollars a piece so the purple one said magic potion and the green one said witch's brew we had um these interesting pumpkins this was the strangest thing i found honestly and then uh these skulls made out of tiny skulls we had some other nutcrackers that come in these coffin shaped boxes these were 25 dollars each like i said lots of pirate decor which is also great if you want to make one of the rooms in your house like pirate themed maybe a kid's room we have some crows here and crows ravens i don't know these birds on different pumpkins this black one was $13 more pirate decor including a Halloween countdown this pirate skull did light up it's kind of hard to see but you can see it on the right it's lighting up a little bit they do have this cute bat pumpkin for $7 I know a lot of people have been liking those bat pumpkins the Nevermore and Wicked printed pumpkins were cool, and that Astrology Skeleton Hand pumpkin was super cool. This pumpkin is super cool as well. It looks like a tattooed design. I really liked this one, and it was $13. They also had these little stacked decorations with the different words, little different wooden signs, like this one that says Trick or Treat. We have some classic pumpkin jack-o'-lanterns. We have another Halloween countdown there. I think these signs are super cool. They're like little mini propped up signs that have a very vintage feel to them to me. And these were six bucks a piece. We have this little candle, which we'll see lots more candles, but that one was $5. It was a pumpkin. We have some little spooky friends here with their little dangly legs. And then back underneath them, we have these really nice glass pumpkins that were black and white with the skeleton hands. I really liked these. They were $6 a piece. They also had the one with the different bones on it. I loved the vibe of these. Some polka dotted glass pumpkins and then this one with the bones. I think it was maybe ceramic of some sort. Another wooden sign. They did have some spooky animals and costumes. These little wooden signs were such a steal. They were only four bucks for these ones. A great little space filler. They also had these tiny block signs, which again, totally give me like vintage vibes, which I love. And they were only $2 a piece, super affordable. And they had these cool fortune teller ones that had a metallic like print to it. And they were $3 each. We have some spooky cats and dogs down here all dressed up. Then over here you have like the pastel goth kind of vibe. These were $7 for the ones with the tiara. They have the little cloche ones. Very like soft pastel-y and like flowers there. We also have some hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil skulls. Like these mint and lavender pumpkins were $4. That one says hocus pocus and this one says resting witch face. We have these plushy pumpkins. So if you like like a very pastel light theme, this might be for you. The little jazz singer skeletons. I did like these little tombstones. I thought these were pretty cool. They had some different designs and colors and you can always paint them if you don't like the color. And these were super cheap. They were only two bucks a piece. Some little skeleton gnome guys. These were soap dispensers. They were $10 each. They don't come with soap, but they're like the refillable kind. So I found these two different designs. Some more wooden pumpkins and some smaller spooky dogs. We have a wreath here that's real shimmery and kind of vintage looking. We have the little pirate pieces you can shove into a pumpkin to decorate it and more pumpkins. Take a shot every time I say pumpkin and you'll be drunk. Um, we had some little like pastel goth signs here. This little welcome sign. I think these were all $5. I mean, for a simple little welcome sign, like how cute, five bucks, you can't beat it. They also had some of these ornaments. I think they were $3. So this one says wicked. And then this one says boo with the little witch's hat. We also had a bunch of different hand towels here. The ones in this section were either $1.50 or $2.50. And they were super cute. They had like some embroidery and designs on them. Really nice. Definitely cute. More for like decoration. But they had a bunch of different cute ones here. We have the skull, the eat, drink, and be scary. The bone to be wild. And Creepy Hollow Broom Company I thought was super cute as well. This one says, if you've got it, haunt it. The orange one says the cobwebs just became decoration. Thanks, Halloween. 
eat it if you dare, and happy Halloween. And then they did have some of these dishware items. They were just these plastic plates in a couple different prints, and these were $1.69 a piece. They also had that larger tray, and then this was like a pirate skull. You could use this as a candy dish or a planter. That would be a cool planter for $11. They also have the cookie jar, and they have these larger plastic bowls that could be a candy dish or like a fruit bowl or something for $4. They had some of these like fabric trivets and a bunch of different prints and those were $2 a piece. We had a couple more or a few more hand towels that were actually a good texture for using them as hand towels. Those ones were $2. We have some different table runners here. Again, you're gonna find different prints and designs. You're most likely gonna find something you will like. We have some tablecloths here and I found one of these towels down below. So I was showing you that one, Black Cat Inn, super cute, and it was $2. More tablecloths, even like the nice fabric-y ones. They had these like foam plasticky placemats that are good for kids. Those were $1.49 a piece and a few different prints. And then they had these different fabric-y placemats that were $2 a piece. I like this spooky house one. See, two bucks. They also have the cool Ouija board printed one and this one that says pick your poison with the poison bottles on it. And this Magic Broom Co. one was super cute. Again, $2. These were a little bit more. I think these ones were $3 a piece and they were like the round woven kind of placemats in a few different designs. And this candle abra is everything. I love it with the little glittery spider. That was $15. They had a bunch of different candles here. It was kind of hard to show the ones higher up. I apologize, but they had a bunch of different prints and designs. Some were LED candles, some were real candles. Some of them had two price tags. I didn't understand that, but um, these were LED candles. They had them usually in black and white. Also had this cool LED Ouija board printed candle. They had a few different LED ones and a few regular candles. Had some classic jack-o'-lanterns there. We had those little pirate printed votives. This was a cute little set. They came all together for $13. Some LED skull candles in black and white. These were $15 a piece oh, for the set. We have some different little small votives and larger, larger candle holders in different prints. Those small ones were $2.50. We had some pastel pumpkins, some plain pillar candles. The small one was four. This was cool. It was like a crow or raven candle. That one was $6. We also have the snake that's been pretty popular, I feel like, this year. But this is a silver snake for six dollars this cool one with the skeleton hands it's like very gray toned again two price tags i don't know what the deal is with that we have another skull printed one these cool spider candles the larger one was marked for five and the smaller one was marked for four these were also like an alligator kind of texture we have some of these led taper candles with the fake like dripping blood for six dollars they came in white and black and these candles i totally forgot i even saw those these are so cool with the snakes wrapped around again two price tags four dollars five dollars i'm not sure which one it is they had the black drippy candles we have an octopus tentacle candle holder this metal crow raven not sure had some regular spooky themed candles, you know, where you take the lid off and you light the candle. Also some different tea lights, sparkly ones. They had these pumpkin shaped ones, which was super fun. We have another skull candle over here. And these are black pumpkin shaped tea light candles. We had some yoga skeleton candle holders here for $7 or eight, not sure. These little tiny skulls with the flowers. They also had this one with the gold design and the spider. These tiny jack-o'-lanterns for $2.50 a piece came in white, orange, and black. 
We also have another metal bird here. We have this set of taper candles. They had orange and black for $3. They also had the bleeding candles and you got two for $3. We have these large kind of table centerpiece things for like 19 or $20. They had a few different designs with the flowers. You put the candle in the middle, this spiderweb candle holder, and then pumpkin LED candles here. We have some skull candle holders. There's the candle abra again. There is a bunch of different pillows up here. I'm trying to show you the best I can, but I believe all of their pillows or most of them were $15. We have some different hand towels here. This was a set of two for $8. I think these are supposed to be for the bathroom specifically. So we had a few different designs there and also more spooky shower curtains. I don't know what's up with the spooky shower curtains, but they had a few different prints here for $12 a piece. more pirate stuff. They even had a toilet seat cover and rug set. Super extra. Kind of love it. And then these bath mats. They had the black and purple spider one for $12, I believe. And then this one with the jack-o'-lantern and the bird. We have more pillows up here. I think this Ouija board pillow was pretty cool because I really liked the little skeleton guys on it. I thought they were cute. And this was $15. More pillows. We have this like pirate skull and this one I think said home sweet haunted home. Then they had these like mini mats to put in your house. I guess you could use them outside. They were only $4. They called them an accent rug, but they're not super soft, but they're not like rough like a doormat would be, but they had a few different prints. This one is so cool. I don't know why I didn't get it. Only $4. I really like that print. And more pillows. They also had a couple of fuzzy blankets for $15. The gray one, glowed in the dark which is so fun kind of feel like I should have bought that one they had this like pumpkin Halloween floral piece on the side had these little pumpkins with succulents for five dollars these little pumpkin trays I thought they came together but they don't the small one is five I think the big one was seven more of the little pumpkin succulents. We have these elaborate skulls with the flowers. And then these little witch's brooms, which I could not get out of there, were $2.79 a piece. They had this LED tree that was two feet tall for $20. I wish I had seen it displayed. They didn't have it displayed. They had a few of these different lanterns that obviously light up with different prints. And then these little stacked spooky guys. These were $4 a piece. They had the little blobby ghosts and the jack-o'-lanterns and the different colors. thought those were fun. Here's a couple more of the lantern prints. They had this thing that you put under your doormat and it like screams at you. They also had these little LED lights for $5. So we have bats, we have skulls, we have pumpkins, and we have cute little ghosties. I found a few garden flags if you're into that. These were Peanuts branded ones and it kind of makes me want a garden flag. Should I be that person? Should I get a garden flag? I don't know. Let me know. These were $6. And then on the other side, they had like the non-character garden flags, like the generic ones. And these were $5 a piece, I believe. Yes. This one lonely dish was so pretty. I only found the one. It was glass. $4. Love that. And they had some spooky cards. Remember, you can totally use cards as decoration. Frame them. Display them. This one was super cute. They were $3. Then this section, I found a bunch of like cheap I don't know, dishware, I guess, sort of accessories. They had a bunch of different dish drying mats for $4. So like the spooky hollow farms, the spooky garden gnomes, this like pretty pastel pumpkins, this checkerboard 
characters and you can match with these other items they had so these hand towels were only a dollar such a good deal so again spooky hollow farms so you could have them all match they have the pretty pumpkins they have these oven mitts for only a dollar as well they also have the regular like square pot holders and these were in a few different designs and prints all of these were a dollar each I really like the Psychic Fortune ones and the Home Sweet Haunted Home. In the fall section, I did want to show that I did really like these pumpkins that were like velvety and jewel toned. I thought those were pretty. They had these pumpkins that gave spooky vibes to me. We also had a little black velvety one for $4. And more like velvety fabric plush pumpkins that are pretty popular now. Those were $6. I forgot to show these decorative brooms that I found in the Halloween section for $11. You can just kind of prop up in the corner and they came with a sign. So where there were three different signs you could choose from to go with your broom. Then they had a couple of these metal garden stakes. So they have this big pumpkin one and this exact one that I bought at Old Time Pottery, but it was $10 at Old Time Pottery. It was 15 here. So get it from Old Time Pottery. And they had these cinnamon brooms that smelled really good for only $5 and some spooky blankets I found in this bin. So there was like four different spooky designs, I believe. And these were $9 a piece. Very soft and cozy. I have one on my lap right now. Can you guess which design I got? And one face mask as we were leaving. And it just said, this is my Halloween costume. So no fun. And then as I left, I found all these doormats. These were super cute. They had a whole bunch to choose from. And just wait until you see the price. Are you ready? Eight bucks. These were only $8 for these doormats, like the rough kind you put outside to wipe your shoes on. They had a whole bunch of different spooky prints as well as fall and some regular ones. I might just have to go back and get one of these because they were so cheap and here's me proving it again they were only eight dollars another ross they had some more spooky blankets here this one said it made noise but it didn't i don't know it had a hood kind of interesting this was twelve dollars they also had some peanuts brand spooky blankets there's the boo crew one we saw before these peanuts brand ones were super cute those were fifteen dollars a piece and another one of these hooded throws that's supposed to make sound, but this was a jack-o'-lantern one. We had a bunch more hand towels here as well and different prints and designs. On the far right, there's another one with bats, and I didn't even notice that it had bats because it was like more abstract. Some wooden signs. We had these little three bowls. This would be good for a party or candy. We had some little gnome decor, gnome candy jar, some Day of the Dead items. We had this little glass bowl with the hand that says eat, drink, and be scary. Remember those like automatic hand candy bowls? Do they make those anymore? I remember everyone having those when I was a kid that would like grab your hand. We've got some repeats, things we've already seen. This really cool bowl though that was like metal with the snakes on the side. It was a really good size, but it was $17. Pretty cool though. They also had like these woven kind of baskets or trick-or-treat bags for $7. I really liked this metal haunted house looking thing that lit up for $14. So it was kind of a lantern. We have some little signs here. Another one over here that says cast a spell with a witch on it. Spooky Radio was cool, but it only played one song. And those guys get electrocuted, apparently. This was a really pretty kind of Victorian looking pillow that said Happy Haunting. And this was only $8. They also had the Trick or Treat Sugar Skull Puppies. This really cool Ouija board one. I love the moth on it. And again, this one was also $8. And then the little pumpkins in the truck. We have a wooden pumpkin sign here with the witch's hat. 
I think we've already seen this. That's $8. This big guy, he's huge and he makes noise. I think he was $43. Is that what the tag said? Burlington only had a few things out. They had a couple of these signs for only $7. Just a couple right now. Then this sign was supposed to be like a broom, but it did have a stake at the end, so you could put it in the ground. That was only $8. And then a couple of little signs over here. These aren't really my style, but they really were really cheap. They were like $8, so you could definitely dress them up and make them cuter. And then they had more spooky shower curtains. They're everywhere. All right, had to come back to Old Time Pottery and see what is new because I loved it so much. The last time we went, they had a few new things, including this spooky guy, and he does indeed light up. I still really like that pumpkin duo on the left. And he was $13. We also have this cool jack-o'-lantern on the hand. I'm not sure if I saw this last time, but it does light up as well. We have these little metal bobblehead guys for $10, the cat and the jack-o'-lantern. This is a pretty cool skull candle holder. I feel like I should have gotten this one. It was $13. We have these tiny pumpkins with the witch hat for $5. And some Halloween countdown things, wooden decor. I know I showed this cloche before, but I just think it's so cute and it has little lights in it and that is $15. They had these little lanterns that came with the LED candle and a couple different designs, and those were $10 a piece. And this little witch guy, I feel like someone's grandma was, would love this, and I mean that in the most loving way. That was $10. And the same candelabra that we found before. Same price, exactly the same, it's just the spider isn't sparkly on this one. They had a couple of table runners and a couple of hand towels. I really liked these hand towels, but they were $8 a piece, which was a bit much if you ask me, especially for just one hand towel. Then these table runners were $15 a piece. They also had a bunch of doormats. Look how cute this trick-or-treat one is with the little ghost. Oh, I should have gotten it. It was $13. They also had what they call like little accent rugs, which are like kind of indoor rugs for $7 and a bunch of different prints, including Peanuts characters. $8 for the Peanuts ones. They also had some different spooky pillows. These were $15 a piece. We have some more little what they call accent rugs here and different spooky prints. I'm trying to show you some of them. We have like the witch's shoes and the little jack-o'-lantern. And here's my foot for reference. So it's like doormat sized. You could put these like inside next to your door. $8 for those. Some little spooky dogs here, the happy Halloween with the spider webs, some more pillows. Here's another regular doormat. This is the Witch's Inn, and they also had more fall themed doormats as well, and a whole bunch of fall stuff. Oh, wait, look how cute the Great Pumpkin one is. Oh, I love that one. And there's a whole bunch of more fall stuff that we did not go over, but if you're looking for fall stuff, it's everywhere. I don't know if I showed this last time, but this is $10 for this little skeleton keychain. <laughs> no, um, lots of different skeletons and bone decor items here. We also have this big spider web you can hang up with the big spider. This little metal ghost looks new and this boo sign with the witch's broom and hat. I really liked these pumpkins. The one with the stars and that says welcome was very like witchy to me. I think that one was so cute and it was $10 and it does light up. It has a little flickering light. Really liked this one. We also had some tinsely garland things here if you're looking for that. We had some more like lawn stakes. These were metal ghosts and they had the little metal haunted house. This one was $13 a piece. 
We have more little lawn stakes here, different designs, wood and metal. I know I showed these last time, but I wanted to give y'all a better view of these little guys that you can put in your lawn and they light up. They have a little solar panel. So they have little lights that go around the edge. And then they also have the little glittery witch on the moon that does light up as well. These are pretty fun. We had the little dinosaur skeleton and flamingo skeletons to put in your yard too. They glow in the dark, which is super fun, for $13. And then garden flags and giant magnets. All right, welcome to the haul portion of this video. There actually might be another part I film on a different day if I add more clips to this video, but this is all the stuff I've bought so far. I have one thing from Home Goods. I have a bunch of stuff from Christmas tree shops. That was a gem and a couple things from old time pottery that aren't really spooky. You'll see. Christmas tree shops was awesome. I didn't even know it existed. It was kind of a random store, I uh, think at home mixed with like a big lots sort of, but they had a bunch of stuff for really good prices. So I'm excited to go back and see what more they add because they already had a bunch of stuff out. And I don't know if this is because I told the lady that was my first time there or if it's just a current thing they're doing or if it's something they always do, but she said, since I spent over $25, I got 20% off my entire purchase, which was awesome and so nice of her if that was not like a normal thing. So that's exciting. I'm not sure how you would get that, but their website is christmastreeshops.com. So let me show you everything I got there. In my office slash beauty room, I want to put a bunch of like vintage Halloween stuff in there since the theme is kind of 70s. I want it to be vintage looking decor. So I got this little guy, which I mean, you may not consider this vintage looking, but I definitely think it could be. It's just a simple little jack-o'-lantern. You can put a tea light in and this was only $2.49. Super cheap. They also had it in black and white. I also got this little guy, which is like a little blobby ghost stack, and this does light up. Blue, and this was $3.99, $4, we'll just round. And then these little block signs were only $1.99. This one says, Happy Halloween. Then we have, Come Here My Little Pretties. And Let's Get Wicked. And I just thought these looked vintage and cool. And for two bucks, why not? They had a few different really cool pumpkins. I decided to get this one, which was $10. And it has the gold detailing that are different constellations. And they're like the astrological signs. And you can see the astrological symbols on the bones. I think this is supposed to be like two hands on top. But I just thought it looked really cool and vibey. So I got that. Oh, I have a couple things from Ross too. Almost forgot. I got this sign from Christmas Tree Shops as well, and this was only $5. Most of their signs were $5, which is fantastic. So it says, when witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, this tis near Halloween. Just thought that was cute. Obviously, I thought it was cute. That's why I bought it. I got this little block sign, which was only $4. I heart Halloween because I do. Had to have it. If you've missed my other two videos, I'm adding a lot more year-round spooky decorations to my house, so a lot of this will actually stay up. I was so excited to find this candelabra. I really wanted a candelabra this year, and I thought this was really cool. It's just black with like the spider web and a little glittery spider. Fairly simple, but super cute, and this was $15. They actually had the exact same thing at Old Time Pottery for $15, but the spider was not glittery, so... Got this from Christmas tree shops. And the only thing I got from Old Time Pottery, I'll just tell you real quick, is seven of these cream colored tapered candles, specifically for the candelabra. I thought the cream would look nice. And these I think were 89 cents a piece, around 80 cents a piece. So got a bunch of those um, for different candlesticks I have. Back to Christmas tree shops. Sorry, I'm jumping around a little bit. I did get black taper candles from there because I couldn't find the cream or white there, but I did find a set of black. You get four for $2.99. They did have some fuzzy blankets. These were just like in a bin all, obviously they're rolled up. These are 50 inches by 60 inches. And this is like a gray graveyard scene with trees and a moon and bats and little ghosts. And it has like little cemetery tombstones. And this was 
very fuzzy and soft. Let's open this up and see. Here's what it looks like. Very cute, haven't seen one like this before, so I decided to get it for only $8.99. I had a bunch of kitchen towels ranging from like a dollar to three dollars. This one was two dollars, and it's actually like a good soft material that is effective, like I talked about before. A lot of kitchen towels are just decorative and not effective, but I liked this one. It says Black Cat Inn, come and stay for a spell. I love the little bats and everything. I love just classic orange and black together. Then they had these oven mitts, which I did not need, but I bought them anyways because they were only a dollar a piece. And we don't have like regular oven mitts like this. So I got these. This one says Psychic Fortunes. And this one says Home Sweet Haunted Home. So I thought I could probably just hang these up somewhere in the kitchen so they're kind of displayed for Halloween, but also have a purpose. And the last things I got from Christmas tree shops were these placemats. These were only $2 a piece and it says Mummy Manor placemat. And it's a standard size. Little haunted house with bats and crows and a jack-o'-lantern and a creepy tree. So I got two of these because we have beaded jack-o'-lantern placemats already, but our table seats six and we only have four of those. So I got these to put on the ends of the table. That's all from Christmas tree shops. I got this at Home Goods the other day. Actually, I have other things from Home Goods I forgot about. Hold on. Okay, I got them. These things are from Home Goods slash Marshalls slash TJ Maxx. It's all the same thing. I picked up this candle that I just thought was so beautiful. It has the witch, the bats, the really detailed, pretty haunted house and the little gate that goes around. I just love the details on this candle. And this is by 13th and Elm is the brand and it was $6. I did get this pair of candlesticks. This was $7 and the brand was Decor of the Dead. And they're just little spooky skeletons. It's kind of like the hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, but they're missing the speak no evil one. It just came with two, but I thought these were different and cool. So I grabbed these little guys. And they've been putting out a bunch of sprinkles and I'm a big sprinkle fan. So I had to get the Halloween spooky sprinkles. This was only $3 and you get like the different colored little dot sprinkles. You get the like black line sprinkles and the ghosts. These are bats and pumpkins. And then these are bats, ghost and the little orange line sprinkles. And then the last couple things we picked up today at Ross, I found this pillow. Like I need one more pillow, but here we are. It says happy haunting, which I just think is cute. And it has a little skeleton couple. I said it was me and my boyfriend. I love the like Victorian look of it. It's actually fairly like soft and comfortable. It's not like rough and itchy. Like it kind of looks like it is. And this was $8. The last thing is this bowl. My boyfriend really wanted this. We're going to use it as our candy bowl this Halloween or multiple Halloweens. And this was $17, which is a little pricier than I'd wanted to pay, but he really liked it. It has snakes on the side as the handles, and then it's kind of like a sort of galvanized metal, and it's a really good size. So now we have a candy bowl. And that's all I got, even though it's kind of a lot, but y'all know I love Halloween. Obviously, that's why I'm doing these videos. If you watched all the way to the end, be sure to say spooky, scary skeletons in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. It truly means so much to me. Give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so maybe you'll be notified next time I upload a video. And make sure you're following me on TikTok and Instagram. I'm super active there and there's lots more spooky content. It's at Maddie Hearts and it's linked in the description down below. Bye guys.